Okay, uh, this is Angela from Angela Heath Art Studio, uh, and I wanted to kind of share with you all some of my digital fabric quilts. Um, this is really kind of a virtual show. I really wanted to start with this piece here. I do a lot of um, a lot of digital work. You know, this looks a little weird right here, but I do a lot of digital work here. Um, and so this one is an example of a whole cloth digital piece. Um, it was inspired by a silk painting that I did of a sunflower. So the colors were different. And what I did was I scanned that image in to Photoshop and then manipulated it so that I get a few sharper edges just to edge this one out a little bit, give it a little more edginess, and then I change the colors on it. Um, so I have this fabric and I believe it's at my Spoonflower um, fabric store and I'll kind of link that if I have it there I'll link it to the bottom but on the back of it you know I really wanted to do this treatment where I kind of what I call hide the uglies um, and so you're not really seeing the stitching there's an additional layer of fabric in the back um, and then I just did a traditional miter boarding border on this one and so this is kind of a, I love the size on this one. It looks kind of looks like a placemat, but you can, you can sort of hang it up. And I think you can orient it in different ways if you'd like. And so this is an example of one of the digital fabric pieces. And then here I have another one where this one is, this, this digital fabric is actually from my Future Code series. Um, I do some of the digital fabric collections. I've done three so far. I'm working on my fourth. I started doing these in 2014. Um, and this one really, uh, Future Code was really about creating art from computer generated programs. And so what I did in this one was I used um, the sine wave generator in Photoshop. And so each line here represents a different sine wave. And then I transformed it, stretched it, widened it um, to see if I could form a picture of a vase of flowers. And so that's really kind of what this is. And I think it shows pretty well. I also put some shadowing in here to to bring the lines forward to give them a little bit more of a 3D effect. And I like the stitching on this one as well. This is a presser foot width for my stitching. And if you turn this one over, I am showing the stitching on this, on this side. and kind of bring that up a little bit more there. Um, and so I love these really kind of soft curves in the stitching on this one. I think this one came out really well. And this one is a traditional mitered border as well. And that comes out pretty good. And then the background is really just a gradient. It's a solid gradient background. I wanted something a little more futuristic in this one. And so I, I chose to do a yellow, yellow and gold background that kind of gradiates up into a silvery gray for that one. And then the last one that I want to share in my digital um, quilt series here is one called Flora. Um, and this was from a previous collection as well. This one, uh, you know, I did some uh, presser foot width stitching on this one. And it really is just kind of a very abstract look of a floral. And um, for me, I think that, you know, I was really on the fence about wanting to use this one or not. I felt like it was very faded. I tested it a couple of times with my, my fabric printer um, at Spoonflower. I've been with them since they began. This is a, co a heavy cotton twill. It, it's very, very durable. Um, but, you know, I kind of left this one, but it wasn't until I binded it that I really feel like the binding really brought it out. So for this one, I did a, um, I think this one is a traditional mitered binding and I did a scallop finish on this binding and I'll kind of show that. And basically by scallop finish, what I'm doing here is 
when I when I'm pressing when I'm sewing over it, I'm actually just taking my presser foot and I'm making a scallop and I'm coming all the way around a couple of times with that. And what that does is it really kind of strengthens that binding and it strengthens the quilt as well. I did do kind of a high the uglies and I just used some fabric that I wanted to get rid of. Uh, let me just see if I can show that scallop a little bit more here. Okay, you can kind of see that scallop a little bit more there. But yeah, I mean, I think, you know, these are kind of my, my digital fabric pieces. This one also is a whole cloth. You know, I kind of do them all in the same, in the same manner. So I do have some more digital fabrics coming out. And so this is Angela from Angela Heath Art Studio. I just wanted to do a, a quick virtual um, tour of some of my floral, my digital florals as quilts. Thanks. Bye for now.